is a rodeo in the garden at home. They're feeding on seeds that have fallen from uh, the bird table. We'll start with the mustard R30. Dry fly hook, size 10. And we need some tying thread. This is uh, Dira, as it's called in Norwegian. Uh, but it's known by other names. Animal, the beast. Fast water caddis. Uh, from a Norwegian fly tire called Gunnar Bingham. Great little pattern. So we'll just bang the tying thread on there. Then we have to go right back to behind the hook eye. Tie it in like that. We'll just open that thread up. Then we need a little bunch of longer rhodia hair. I like to choose hair with good markings on this. We need to clean it and stack it. So measure the tail. It wants to be about that long there. And we'll just put that in like that. Now trick here, you want to go once over the top and then round again over the top but this time in between the hook and the hair. This will keep everything on top of the hook shank and then we pull up like this. Excellent. Now keep hold of the hair not so tight turns and we go back towards the tail like so keep on going keep hold of the tail and when you get back to where the tails tied in you can let go that's perfect then we can just tie that in a little more securely but you don't want to squash all this down really tight you want this to remain uh, full of air make it float better as well. There we go and then back up again. Excellent. Then we need a hackle. Uh, the colours you can choose yourself really. This is a, a brown variant I'm using. So we'll tie this in. Now this wants to be 90 degrees to the hook shank. You want this hackle standing right out so we go back down again, just tie this on down to the body. There we go. Back up. And there we go, that's good. And we want some dubbing. Now for this I'm using uh, Veniard Superfine. This is a fantastic dry fly dubbing. And we want the olive on this. Again you don't have to use olive, you can use whatever colours you want. So we just take a little bit of this dubbing. Now again we don't want this super tight. I want to build up a nice body on this. So we start there and this super fine dubbing is perfect for this because it won't absorb water. We go there, a little bit more. Move that up. And just to finish off. And we go tight into the head. We can lift this up now and we can go a couple of times just around the head like that to keep it all nice 
and in position. And what we need, you don't have to use a hackle ply but I like to use it, is just place a hackle plier on there and just gives me better control. And then we want to palmer this. Now some like a dense palmered hackle. I like to keep this a little bit sparser, a little bit more open turns. Now if uh, the devil bug and uh, the super pooper had a child, this is what it would look like. So we just tie off that hackle there, like so, then we lift this up. Whip finish. Oops. Once more. And we'll just remove that. I like to keep I like to trim this right down like a, an Elka Caddis, but I like to keep a little bit, a little bit longer. I think we'll do it about there. There we are. We can trim off the surplus hackle now, just there. And we turn this upside down. Let's tighten that vice up. Now you don't have to trim this, the original wasn't trimmed on the underside, but we can trim it now. Make sure if you are trimming it you remove these. You can just tip it to one side so you see which have to be removed. We want this to float, there's a couple more of that. And that's it. That's the beast or deer as it's known in its land of origin.